In May 1954, the Supreme Court ruled in Brown v. Board of Education that racial segregation in public schools was unconstitutional. George Wallace, a pro-segregation candidate running for governor of Alabama, vowed to physically obstruct any attempts to integrate the state's all-white public school system. After winning the election in 1962, Wallace reiterated his stance in his inaugural speech, declaring, Segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever. In early 1963, a federal judge ordered the admission of Vivian Malone and James Hood, two African-American students, to the University of Alabama. They were chosen among many Black applicants for their academic credentials and willingness to break the color barrier at the university. President John F. Kennedy and Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy negotiated the enrollment process to counter Wallace's expected resistance. And on June 11, 1963, Wallace directly blocked the entrance to Foster Auditorium, where Malone and Hood were to enroll. National and local media, state police, and the Alabama National Guard were present. Deputy Attorney General Nicholas Kotzenbach requested Wallace to comply with the federal court order. Despite Wallace's constitutional argument, President Kennedy promptly federalized the Alabama National Guard to remove him if necessary. After a tense standoff, Wallace relented, allowing Malone and Hood to register for classes. Malone graduated in 1965, becoming the first black person to receive a degree from the University of Alabama. Hood left the university after about eight weeks, but he later returned to earn his PhD. This event, known as the Stand in the Schoolhouse Door, became a significant moment in the civil rights movement. On the night of June 11th, President Kennedy and emphasized civil rights in a televised address. That same month, he proposed civil rights legislation, which led to the Civil Rights Act of 1964, prohibiting discrimination and authorizing lawsuits for school desegregation. With federal enforcement of Brown v. Board of Education, school segregation gradually ended. Malone and Hood wanted this event not to be known for the stand in the schoolhouse door, but for the opening of the schoolhouse door. They wanted the day to be remembered in celebration of its symbolic progress and racial equality. Their courage and determination allowed others to pursue better opportunities. And despite the challenges they faced, their legacy reminds us of the ongoing struggle for a more inclusive society.